hold on to your hats, we're headed down under with Netflix's latest rom-com release A Perfect Pairing. Wine sales executive Lola Alvarez winds up working at an Australian sheep farm in order to win over a major new client, but winds up stirring the passions of a rugged and mysterious local, Max too. Let's find the answers to these questions as well as more about the touching ending of a perfect pairing. Spoilers ahead. Do Lola and Max end up together? Yes, after a lot of trials and tribulations, Lola and Max end up together. A few days after his talk with Hazel, he takes Lola to visit the winery, and she is elated to finally return to what she loves doing the most. Not just that, she is surprised at his knowledge of wines and their composition. Excited at witnessing how Vaughn family wines functions, she comes up with a beautiful sketch of Sibyla Vaughn and suggests pitching it to Hazel as a bottle label design. Afterward, Lola and Max camp out for the night at a beautiful spot, and she shares her ideas with him, while he gifts her an expensive wine he has gotten for her from the winery. This sweet gesture brings them closer to each other, and they share a passionate kiss under the stars. But when he musters the courage and reveals his true identity to her the next morning, she is dismayed at his lies. She tells him that contrary to what he may have believed, she is not interested in his money or social status, and his dishonesty has changed everything between them. When the pair returns from their camping trip, Lola immediately decides to return to Los Angeles and starts packing her bags. Max tries to apologize and make her stay, but is unable to express himself properly. Heartbroken at his lack of effort, Lola sadly bids goodbye to her friends and returns to Los Angeles. A few months later, she establishes her company Salad Imports and starts gaining the trust of patrons. Lola further refrains from contacting Max, as she is still upset over what he did as well as how little he did to stop her from leaving. But during one of her wine-tasting events, Max suddenly turns up and apologizes for his past behavior. He lovingly confesses his feelings for her, and they kiss passionately. Later, they return to Warata Station as a happy couple to celebrate Sam's wedding with her girlfriend Heidi. Does Lola get the Vaughn family wines contract? Wine thing didn't work out exactly the way you planned. Yeah. Yes, Lola also manages to acquire Vaughn Family Wines as a client, but not without overcoming several hurdles. Upon returning from the camping trip, after arguing with Max, Lola sees Calder and Audra at Hazel's doorstep. He cleverly lies to Hazel and says that he is offering Lola a promotion in the company and tries stealing credits for her efforts again. Though Lola stops her former boss and refuses his selfish offer, she gets dejected when Hazel decides to give the Vaughn Family Wines contract to Mythos. Lola gives up on her dream of working with Hazel and gifts her a wine bottle with Sibyla's sketch as a farewell present before leaving. Realizing her mistakes, Audra apologizes to Lola, who forgives her and walks away. A few months later, she quits working with Calder and asks Lola for a second chance. Despite everything that has happened between them, she relents and hires Audra into her company. Slowly, both women manage to score a few patrons for salad imports and start attending events. At the same time, Calder loses Hazel's contract due to his poor work ethic, but Lola decides to not go after her and looks for fresh clients. When Max comes to apologize to Lola later, he gives her another surprise by revealing that he has become an active partner in Vaughn Family Wines and has convinced Hazel to take on Lola's company as their exclusive importer. Not just that, they also select Lola's sketch of Sibyla as their official bottle logo. Thus, after so many months of sincere hard work, her dream of working with Vaughn Family Wines finally comes true. Of course, there's always a catch in these kinds of films, and with these kinds of men, though a perfect pairing plays up the inevitable reveal to be far more dramatic than it is. We won't spoil it for you, but safe to say it's an easily forgivable transgression, particularly in the capitalistic hellhole we call modern society. All rom-coms like this require a hefty suspension of disbelief, you have to imagine a world in which a woman can blag her way into the biggest career, get of her life, in which labor laws and visa requirements don't exist, in which dreams really do come true. Where is my notebook? This place is giving me ideas.